everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the tilantias or air plants. Okay, coming up. The tilantia is a very interesting plant and this is because as you can see it doesn't need any soil. It actually grows like this and this is because this plant is an epiphyte which means that she gets all of the nutrients that she needs through the leaves and that's why we don't need to put her in soil. And this is why this plant is also commonly known as the air plant. Now, in my experience, I can tell you this plant is not super difficult to care for. We just want to make sure that we provide the right amount of light and very importantly that we know how to water her because water of course is very important. So now let me show you how you can keep your tilansia very happy and healthy at your place. In terms of temperature, the tilansias will be happy in normal household temperatures. If you have them in a room that is 16 degrees Celsius, they will stop growing. And make sure that you avoid temperatures lower than 13 degrees because they will not be happy there. Humidity is also very important for this plant. They like high levels of humidity because as I said, they actually get their nutrients from the leaves. So a humid environment is very beneficial for them. You can increase humidity by putting them on a humidity tray. Just make sure that your plant doesn't touch the water. What I would recommend is that you don't place her directly on the humidity tray, but actually on a stand standing on the humidity tray. That way the water will evaporate and create humidity for her, but she will not be touching the water, which can cause rot and ultimately death. When we talk about light, the tilansias love bright light. Not so much direct light, but very bright light. So in our home, we have this one in the living room, which which has a south facing window so it gets lots of bright light but we don't have the plant right at the windowsill because that will be too intense and direct light and this could burn the leaves. So do provide bright light but not direct light. Now some people think that misting their tilansias is going to keep them happy but this is really not true. The best method to water your air plant is to soak and dry. This method is really easy. All you have to do is fill up a bowl with water and submerge your tilansia upside down. Then you can leave it there for 10 to 15 minutes and take out of the water. After that what I strongly recommend is that you place your tilansia upside down again so it can dry and we make sure that the water drains down and it doesn't go in between the leaves because this again can cause rot. Once your plant is dry you can place her back where she belongs. So as you can see this plant is very interesting and really easy to care for. If you have any questions or tips relating to the care of this plant make sure to comment below so we can all learn together and as always I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! <laughs>